Hi, I'm Karen. I'm Financial Counsel with the Salvation Army. You may be finding yourself in a financial situation that you never expected and have never been in before and you're really concerned of how you're going to manage through this period. As financial counsellors, we support and work with people who are in financial hardship on a daily basis. So we are hoping today we can provide you some information on how you can manage um, your utilities through this period. It may be that you usually get your utility bill every three months and you just pay it. And you're wondering, how am I going to do that now? I'm on a reduced income. Well, there is support out there to work, work through this period with you. Now, all utility companies have a hardship department. And we would encourage everyone who is concerned on how to pay their utility bill to contact their hardship department of their utility company. The hardship department at your utility company are specialists in supporting people as well that are in financial hardship. So they're a really good place to start. Now, some of the some of the things they may discuss with you is um, how much you can afford to pay as opposed to how much your usage is. So they're able to calculate your usage into a dollar figure and into a period of time. So it may be that you say, I want to pay my utilities fortnightly. So they will be able to break it right down to how much you actually consume in a fortnight in a dollar value. And that may be affordable for you to pay. So you go, that's all I want to pay and I will make a payment every fortnight towards my electricity bill. It may be that you still owe them some money from a previous bill. That can all be sorted out at a later date. The main thing at the moment is to look at how much you're using and to just keep making those payments so anything you owe to the utility company doesn't increase. At this time though, our utility bills may increase slightly. If we are going into winter, people are working at home and we've still got kids studying at home. So inevitably, we are perhaps using more heating, we've got extra laptops going, the TV, we may turn the oven on for lunch, who knows? So we may see an increase in electricity bills. So we would encourage everybody to make their utility bill some a priority in the debts that they need to pay during this um, period. Because unfortunately, our electricity charges don't stop. They're continually to be charged every day. So open up those communications with the hardship department. It may be that you've gone on to a job seeker payment as well and that you've now found yourself with a healthcare card. A healthcare card may entitle you to concessions through the state government as well. So we would encourage everyone to contact the concessions hotline and discuss what concessions am I available. So the state government offers concessions on electricity, on water, there's a cost of living concession as well. So it's really good to have a chat with them to see if you can access some of those concessions. Now the phone number for the concessions hotline can be found on the Affordable SA app or you can look at the webpage affordablesa.com.au. If you're finding this all too overwhelming and not sure where to start with your negotiations and which bill I should pay and you know, how much should I be paying towards them, that's something we as financial counsellors can assist you with. So we would encourage everybody um, that is unable to communicate with their providers themselves to contact a financial counsellor. We will look at your overall financial situation, we'll look at what those, what debts you've got, what bills you've got and what options you've got with all those bills and debts. We can talk to you about what pros and cons you have of um, those debts and those options that are available to you. Financial counselling is offered throughout the state, it's a free and independent service and the best place to start to speak with a financial counsellor is the National Debt Helpline. So you can contact us on 1800 007 007 to make that appointment. So we'd encourage everybody to try and engage in some sort of hardship department or um, financial counselling of some description just to support you through this period. It can certainly assist you to relieve some of that financial pressure that you're actually feeling because there are many options available to people out there and um, there's quite a lot of options and there's always options so we would encourage everyone to contact the National Debt Helpline or contact the hardship department of your provider.